So good afternoon. I'm Bunch uh, Muskia, uh, CCO. I've already introduced myself earlier and your CC coordinator. So we our discussion today is about uh, wiki source and language revitalization. So for those who you who had attended the WOW conference, so probably we have an idea already on what are these uh, things that were discussed. Uh, in this uh, session, uh, but for those who just uh, join in in the ECF conference, uh, we will be having two great panelists. Uh, one is uh, involved in uh, the uh, uh, preservation of language, and uh, one is a Wikimedia Foundation staff who is uh, leading the uh, efforts in the uh, Wiki source. So let's start with our first. Uh, panel speaker, uh, uh, Karma Sitra is uh, well known for pioneering tasks to digitize and uh, translate ancient uh, Balinese uh, manuscripts that has been written and palm leaves. On uh, 15th of August of 2021, she was conferred with the title Wikimedia Newcomer of the Year. Congratulations and personally, congratulations in person now. <laughs> because uh, you were you won during the vir our, our virtual conference. And then another, uh, our panel is uh, Bayo Ripita. Uh, he's the lecturer in uh, Udiyana University. He, started his contribution in Balinese uh, Wikipedia in 2019, and he is also active in Balinese Wikisource, focused on retyping uh, Balinese manuscripts. So again, uh, uh, Wikimedians, uh, let me introduce to you Bayou and Karma. Okay, <clears throat> thank you so much. Okay. Uh, hello, everyone. Uh, thank you for joining the session. So, um, yeah, I'm Chitra. So, you can call me Chitra. Charma is my family name, actually. So, yeah, Charma Chitrawati is my name, but uh, you can uh, call me Chitra. So, <laughs> I don't know. It's uh, that's a matter. Okay. Uh, today, I I would like to talk to you about uh, actually my project with my community in the Pasar Bali. So this is a uh, ongoing project uh, Balinese manuscript on Wiki Pustaka. So Wiki Pustaka is uh, Balinese Wiki source. So the name is Wiki Pustaka. Um, okay. How to the next. No, that's a book. This one. Okay. Thank you so much. Okay. Um, today, uh, my focus on uh, this presentation is uh, what is the next uh, after we have or my community have a wiki staka or wiki source. Um, and before that, uh, I will give you uh, just a brief information about why I work and my community work in this uh, project. So why we should preserve Lontang or a Balinese manuscript. So the reason, the first is because um, Lontang itself um, yeah, contains a lot of local language, uh, local knowledge. Um, yeah, you can see in the picture, this is the Lontang. So Balinese manuscripts. Um, yeah, the script is Balinese script, we call Aksara Bali, so, but the language in the Lontar is all Japanese language, so, uh, yeah, mostly this is uh, all Japanese language and uh, more uh, using a Balinese language for the genre like the Guritan or traditional song that I 
performed yesterday that using uh, Balinese language, but mostly using old Javanese language. So this is Lontar and the content of uh, Lontar is a lot. Like in the picture, this is a uh, image in the Lontar and this is the Bayu Prasti or Bayu Lontar. Bayu made this Prasti or Lontar. This is a content uh, script and then image and character. So uh, Lontar uh, is become a part of a Balinese uh, life, become uh, start from uh, 15th century. So we found an uh, inscription in Bali. So uh, Lontar is really, really important for Balinese because uh, yeah, a local genius, a local uh, culture uh, content in this uh, manuscript. So the reason, the next new reason is the condition of Lontar itself. Balinese, uh, Balinese have a lot of Lontar, uh, plenty of collection in uh, spread out in a private collection in Bali. And this is the real condition. So because the Lontar is uh, written on the palm leaf, so this is the highly vulnerable uh, written by insect and then fungi and yeah, the weather itself. So that's why this is the real condition. Mostly 40% of the condition of the Lantar is like this. So it's really sad. Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay, thank you so much. Okay, about uh, that is the reason why we try to uh, yeah, uh, that is the reason why we concern in this work. And the next is uh, what is the activities that we have been doing until now. So, but you will be ex uh, extol more about this. Okay, please. Okay, uh, maybe when uh, we talk about this topic, uh, we why wow uh, a few days ago. Uh, I also explain about the stages of the preserving manuscripts. So I would like to repeat uh, in a rush. So the first one is meet and uh, get permission from the owner. It means uh, convincing the owner to uh, open their uh, own collection. So this uh, stage, um, the most important stage, I mean, the most important part to get access. And then uh, we're cleaning the surface page to page uh, of the manuscript. And then um, uh, we also uh, ask our students and our uh, university to join involved in this project. As you can see on the screens, uh, they are our students. And then um, the next step is digitizing and uh, making metadata, all of the uh, manuscript identity. So we uh, digitizing using the camera and then uh, catalog of the Lontar. So this is the uh, recent project that we've done. Um, upload the catalog on the um, wiki comments and then uh, using barcode so everyone uh, easy to get access to the um, catalog by scanning the barcode on the um, cover of the manuscript so it's cover we put the barcode so then everyone can just scan and they uh, get free catalog for, for sure so this is our uh, wiki source page, wiki pustaka, and it contains the, today uh, more than 3,400 uh, manuscripts, actually, um, for all the manuscripts that we uh, have on this uh, wiki source. So, next, Colin. Colin. No. Okay. Okay. Uh, the next is uh, the focus of this project. Uh, the first wiki Lontar project is in Wikidata. But uh, after we get permission to the owner of manuscript, 
but uh, they just asked me what is the benefit for us as a owner. So that's why we uh, focus on Wikisource to make a catalog and retype uh, the manuscript there, just the first pages and the last pages to digitize and then make a catalog for the owner of manuscript. So this is the um, one of the member uh, from Wikimedia Denpasar made the metadata. This is the spread out of the manuscript in Bali. So you can see the red dot that is uh, the location of the manuscript that we uh, input on uh, Wikidata. So you can access more in the link. Uh, this is uh, the spread of the Lompa. So uh, what is the next of this project? So what is uh, the next? Yeah, our dream or our dream future actually. So the first, uh, I hope and my community hope Wikipustaka has become a digital laboratory for lontar or manuscript because we have a lot of lontar around 200, uh, yeah, 200, uh, no, 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 225,000 lontar. Around so around Bali. So that's why I, yeah, this is my, my dream and when, with my community, uh, the Wiki Pustaka become a laboratory for Lontar so everyone can access, can learn, can retype, can also proofread and validating all of the manuscript uh, around the Bali, outside or inside Bali, because we have the collection uh, not just in Bali, but also outside of Bali. So the second one is um, to go info the Udayana University because we are later in Udayana. So the pilot project and the next project is to go info my student to practice. Um, this is the one of the subject. We have one subject uh, for uh, related with um, retyping manuscript. So Wikisource become a place to practice together. Yeah, every semester, my student in Udayana University will join with us and make a workshop together to creating, to uh, read and retyping manuscript uh, for one semester. So we have a project for one semester for my student in Udayana University. Um, and then uh, the next, uh, I think that's a big uh, dream for my community. So uh, as I said earlier, uh, we have a lot of Lothar in Bali, but we have also a Balinese collection in another world, like um, in Australia and in, in Canberra. Yeah, yeah uh, actually the National uh, Museum of Australia, they also uh, kept uh, yeah. amount of Balinese, uh, Balinese manuscript lantar. and then uh, so I started to communicate uh, with one of the library and in British uh, in Library of Congress. So yeah, the the head of Library of Congress is really appreciate. So I started to input data of uh, the collection from uh, Balinese. Lontar in LOC. Uh, this is uh, one of the uh, collections. So they have um, 300 collection of Balinese collection or Lontar. So it's still ongoing. So I input the data on Wikidata first because uh, yeah, we don't have a relationship or communicate uh, furthermore about the collaboration together with LOC. But I I want to get involved in this project uh, more about the digitizing the manuscript in LOC maybe, or the British library or another library in uh, around of the world. So yeah, 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 for uh, Balinese, uh, Balinese uh, Lombard. So um, we, we just got an information from our uh, colleague in Munich. He was shocked us because one uh, library in Munich, uh, they uh, have 20, uh, sorry, 2,500 yeah. uh, Balinese manuscripts. Manuscript. So uh, 
we want to um, like uh, propose our proposal to the Munich library and we, we get the data and then put the data for we keep for uh, the Pusaka uh, and the data of course. So that's uh, one of the biggest collection of Balinese manuscript outside uh, Indonesia, outside Bali. Okay. Um, so the last is how to encourage a people uh, to get involved in Bali. Uh, still, this is the challenging one for us in Bali actually, because the young generation today is yeah just uh, focused in another field. Uh, uh, they don't care about uh, Balinese uh, manuscript. So yeah, we have to know what is the strategy to um yeah to attract uh, another people young generation or another who want interest in a balinese uh, manuscript okay i think that's all for us uh, thank you so thank much you so much our next speaker is a long term indonesian mainly active in punjabi uh, with the idea of punjabi discourse and the media balance He's currently working with the culture and heritage team of the Lee Media Foundation and supports projects related to the language and culture uh, documentation and revitalization. Uh, let me present to you Sadiq Hill. Thank you. It works. Oh, okay. Um, hello, everyone. I realize it's been a long day and I have eight minutes. I'll try to wrap this up quickly. Sadeep here from the Culture and Heritage team at the Wikimedia Foundation. Such an inspiring project. I love it. The Balinese community are doing amazing work. So just being inspired from them, uh, we, we have launched just last month, we have launched Wiki Rescues Manuscripts. This logo has been developed. It's a draft logo, has been developed by Wikimedia Indonesia. Uh, I just got it yesterday. So I decided why not share it with you. So Wiki Rescue's manuscript, I've told you already inspired by the Balinese community, uh, but we would like to go beyond scanning and transcription, which they are trying as well, which they're doing as well. We would like to make them popular, for instance. Uh, you see the image uh, on the right side? Uh, that is from a mall in Jakarta, but with no context. You know, a fancy manuscript, but no context at all. And that's where, we can come in, we can provide that context, uh, context and make the manuscript um, more popular among the youth. Like that is a vision. And also improve the technology because the Balinese community, they have transcribed 3,400 manuscripts manually. So what are we doing to support it, to, to improve that workflow? We're doing a pilot in Indonesia and in, the, in this pilot, in the one year, we'll be focusing on three different islands and three languages of uh, Indonesia. Balinese, we will obviously work with. We'll start with that, then we'll move to Javanese and a potential third language. Feel free to come up with suggestions. It can be Minangkabau or Sundanese. We are still trying to finalize that. We have various partners, PPIM, a research institute in, uh, in, in Jakarta. Um, we also have Wikimedia Indonesia, of course. Without them, we won't be able to do it. Uh, we have UNESCO and many more. About the technology piece that I talked about, that we want to support the community um, in the work that they've done manually on you know, thousands of manuscripts, we are currently piloting with this handwriting recognition tool called Transcribus. So we are testing it. We're, we're trying to see if it can work. Since we have the images, and we have the transcribed text, manually transcribed text by the community. This tool says, give us all that and we'll give you a model, an OCR model. And I'm happy to report that in a recent uh, test with one of the manuscripts, we were able to achieve 96% accuracy for one Balinese manuscript. So we're currently working with an, with an, uh, an institute in India to create a, uh, an OCR model for Balinese. And uh, we are we're going to uh, pursue a partnership with Transcribers. And if that's successful, you will have this technology available to transcribe many more languages, not just Balinese. We're also, we also have brought in two part-time Wikisource uh, technical fellows to support this project. Balinese community, for instance, 
Um, they were having technical challenges around the on-screen keyboard that they have with which this with which they type uh, onto Wiki Pustaka or Balinese Wiki source. Um, so with those technical fellows, we are trying to support the infrastructure needs of the community um, around automatic transliteration, uh, around the, uh, making any changes in the or improvements in the on-screen keyboard. And we'll be doing that for for the future iterations, for the uh, other languages that we add uh, or we work on as part of Wikidesk's manuscripts. And finally, if you are interested, if you are interested in working with manuscripts or if you have already worked with manuscripts, we would like you to join. We would like you to become part of Wikidesk's manuscripts as a learning partner. You can sign up for this on MetaWiki. Um, there are currently two, two language communities who have signed up already. So we are interested to learn from you also to, to share any learnings from our project with you. And um, th that will also become, um, you know, a vision for us to work with you uh, for future iterations. After the pilot, we would like to uh, work with more, more communities. So, so that is a, um, an action point, I think, for you. Like We would love for you to come and join us in this project. Thank you so much, Shukriya, Matur Shukshima. Terima kasih, Matur. You can talk to me, you can email me. So uh, thank you uh, uh, for our uh, panel speakers today. And uh, as a token of appreciation, we would like to give this uh, to so thanks everyone so uh, is there anyone who would like to ask a question just one question because everyone's i think uh, coming in for a second okay yeah go ahead <laughs> So, is there anyone who would like to ask a question related to Wikisource, please? Hi, everyone. I'm Yael Westberg from the Wikimedia Foundation. Um, Sadiq, I love that you said that you were inspired by Chitra and her work, and I'm curious for your project, the Transcribus, and I'm curious, Chitra, what you think of the Transcribus pilot? How will it support the work that you're doing? Um, what do you see as the promise in this? What is kind of an area you're looking to explore as well? Okay, thank you. Uh, uh, the question is about what is my work for transcript uh, manuscript? Is it right? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, that's really um, good news for me as a Balinese because we have, yeah, OCR. Yeah, before we have OCR, I retype manually in Wikisource. So I have a story about the Wiki Lontar project that I have done. So because we rescued the manuscript for five places in Bali. So uh, the collection is almost uh, 600 uh, pages, uh, 600 pages. And I'm in hospital <laughs> and uh, I was sick until in hospital because I really dropped in the condition to retire every day at that time because we have a limited uh, time uh, to retire and read uh, manually. So if we have OCR, so that's really amazing for me. Thank you so much.